Okay, we just got a call from the office. We got something in the mail. I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure what. Mike went to pick it up. I was like, I thought I heard you on the steps. Shrimpy what look. is it? Here it is. Whatever it is. This is a side table. Ooh. This is our Can't first remember. piece of furniture for this new slide. We're giving the slide a new look. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your suggestions on ideas for how we can kind of remodel the slide again. I'm excited about this. <laughs> so we decided to go with a side table next to our piece of furniture that's supposed to be here tomorrow. Just hang on a little bit and we'll show you that a little bit later. But for now, we're gonna check out this side table. This side table is from a company called RecPro and we're really excited about this because we've always wanted a table next to our furniture to put our stuff and what's really great about this is that it has built-in storage and it has plugins built into it for your phones that's what i'm excited about there's a mess of wires right now behind the like couch table setup we have going on and the piece of furniture we're getting doesn't have like chargers or cup holders like our old recliners did the couch that we have right now doesn't have that either so this was a great way to kind of incorporate a place to set a cup and a place to charge phones and stuff like that so we are excited to get this out of the box and check it out uh, we're going to be getting rid of the couch and ottoman like i said and so we're going to be taking all this stuff out of the ottoman that is completely full of stuff yeah. We're gonna see how much stuff fits in the side table. Uh, it also has a little shelf underneath. We'll show you a little bit of that a little bit later. But I am excited to see what this thing looks like and to have a space for our phones and get rid of that disaster behind the couch right now that is just wired. all the chargers. <laughs> all right, here you go. Here's your instructions. There's the top. Let's have a look, see. Ooh. Okay, so is there a drawer on yeah, that side? Yeah, okay. that's pretty little. Nice. Okay. I'd say one, one small paperback book. Mike and I are very different people when it comes to like directions <laughs> and recipes and yeah. just just in general. In general, we're very different people. One leg, two leg, three legs. Yeah, and I totally like Jedi Knight them. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Ah. So this is pushed up through here, but once you know, you're actually using it, that's gonna go down to plug into the wall. Okay. And you got two SPs, two actual plugins, little screw covers that won't stay in place. <laughs> and then I guess when you have cords coming up out of it, it's got this little half moon thing so your cords can come up. Ah, oh, I see. And then a little drawer, like I said, probably put a hook in there. Okay. And then this little guy comes out for like extra coffee cup space. So if you're like us and keep everything cluttered all the time, you can always pull that out and put a little coffee cup there. That's nice. And then this area, which I think will end up getting like a little soft bin or something. Yeah, there Otherwise it's just gonna be like stack cluttered. Okay. So we're giving this couch to one of our friends to take to the local college, but we're up at about 5 a.m. doing it because we got to do it before I go to work so I can help Mike. Thankfully, this is pretty lightweight and easy to take apart. So once the kids get done playing, I guess. <laughs> this ottoman. It's got a lot of storage in it. All 
All right, so we've been busy with this slide project and Callie's birthday was the other day and we never really got a chance to celebrate it. So we went into town, we got her this amazing little treat that I'm gonna give her today. Steph's working today, so I'm gonna do this with her by myself. You guys got me today, so I'm gonna give this to Callie though. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Good girl. There you go. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I can't wait to clean up all these purple spots off the carpet. Are you ready, Callie? Hey, what do we think here, kid? It's here! It's here. Today is the big day. Today's the day. Mike and I were out for a run and we went and got coffee and then he got a phone call and he's like, oh, I guess it's here. We're gonna go get it. We are really excited to show this to you guys. There is one small problem. It's really heavy and it's just me and you. It's very heavy. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna go. Um, it's on a pallet and it's in a box that has straps on it. So we, we might have to call in reinforcements. <laughs> we need to go get the straps off, unbox it, check it out, and then try to figure out how we're gonna get it in here. It looks so comfortable. It's so comfy. Look how big that is. It's huge. Okay. All right. All right, test number one. Can we lift it? Oh, it's not. Oh. oh. It's way lighter than it said it was. All right, we can lift it. Now let's see if we can lift it and turn it sideways and get it through the door. <laughs> I mean, it's not quite by any means. <laughs> Sorry, it's coming off the towel. Okay. Man, it's really uh, dirty. Oh, yuck. Look at your face. Oh, yeah. Look at your face. Did I touch my face? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> well, it looks like a big box. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping for like an instruction packet on the top. And we can... can we stand it up? Like, go this way? Like, end over? I might be too tall for the camper. You are doing it all on your own, and I'm sorry. Um, too bad we don't have kids or a cat. Right. They're hitting on this side. I guess we figure out what to do with that later. Walk away. <laughs> okay. So, this is the back side, you said? I think so. You think? <laughs> think We're about right. to find out. Okay. Let's lay it down. There goes the cushions. Okay. There's that. Why does it look so low? The legs aren't on it. There's legs? Yeah, I bet. I hope so, because that's a low couch. I'm still waiting for this instruction booklet. Have you have you seen anything? No. <laughs> Wait, here's a, here's a something. What's this? Is that a leg? It's a block of something. I bet that's the legs right there. Okay. So I guess I'll go this way. Stay. Unless I'm crazy. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. It's a couch! It's actually really light. I know, I was really worried when I saw the weight, but. Did it snap? Yours did. Oh, that's. Oh, there, mine did too. That's kind of nice. Ooh. 
she's a beaut, kid. She's a big. Hey, don't forget about this. Uh. <laughs> All right, so the couch that we went with is a Rec Pro 65 inch hide a bed. Sleeper one, sofa. One of the reasons why we went with it was because we don't have a dinette anymore and our couch that we had before wasn't big enough for anybody to sleep on, so we couldn't have any guests. We had guests, but we had to break out an air mattress, which takes up space, and it's a little embarrassing to have friends over and be like, here's your air mattress. Yeah. Hope you're comfy. So we got this specifically for the hide bed so I'm really excited to get this. The mattress came separately, so the mattress actually came on, what? The day the couch was, oh no, no, it's been here for... Saturday, I think. Yeah, it's been here for like half a week. It's been here for maybe a week. Yeah. And we haven't opened it, because we figured once we opened it, it would poof. Spring open. So I'm gonna open it, uh, get it in here, I think that's gonna be the next step to get the mattress inside this hide bed here. And uh, then we can put it all together and check it out. Look at that. Oh, I think you're right. I think it is gonna spring open. Yeah, I, I, I guess I just assumed that it was shrink wrap somehow. Oh yeah. For vacuum pack. Ooh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Are there instructions in that? Maybe we were supposed to open up that first. No, there's not anything in here. That's wild. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. I guess. Ooh, oddly satisfying. <laughs> and then that one's vacuum sealed. Ooh, the poop. Maybe we should leave the couch unfolded for a bit so that, I mean, after we get it all set up. To let it. Yeah, to yeah. let it poop. Okay. I can't wait to see what our neighbors have to say. I uh, saw a lot of stuff outside your camper today. Oh, well. Okay. Does it fit on there? It fits. I don't know how much it's going to floof. Ready? Good job. I have my shoes on. <laughs> you could sit up like this huh? and watch TV. Yeah. Nap time. It. It's good for the respiratory system. A little we'll, elevation. We always end these furniture videos with us <laughs> taking a nap. Nap time with life rerouted. Fold around and put the testings on. Just fold it in. Fold it in, David. What does that mean? Fold it in. Ta-da! Ta-da! Armrest first. Armrest covers cushion. There you go. And then you can put the cushion on. Nice. All right. Now do the true test. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty nice. It sits up. I was about that. to say. Remember when we opened it up and I was like, oh, it sits so low to the ground, and now I'm like a little kid whose feet can't reach the How ground. About that? One thing we've learned with RVing is that everything should have at least two purposes. Now, you can't always make that happen but having a couch that's not just a couch is gonna be a big deal for us. A couch that also can be a sleeper sofa that fits in the camper, that I think looks nice in the camper. We got this one from Rec Pro. We'll drop the link below. It's a 65 inch sleeper sofa in the oatmeal, I think. Oatmeal. Oatmeal color. They also have a gray one, but we decided to go with this color. Okay, well, I don't know what, we still don't know what we're doing with the rest of the slide. We're still trying <laughs> we still to figure out. We still need help with this area. Honestly, I wanted to get the couch in here before we started working on the rest of it because I wanted to make sure that everything would fit in here. So we are gonna have less space with a wider couch, but this is where we spend the majority of our time when we're in the camper anyway. And we are usually the only people sitting to eat. So we are taking a lot of this stuff into consideration that you guys have been sharing with us. Thank you. We really appreciate your thoughts. 
and some of the ideas that you guys have had over the past couple weeks, we really appreciate that. But still not sure what we're doing with this space. So now that this is in, we can see how the side table ends up here and then we can start working on the corner. Yeah. Sound good? Lots of work still to do. Lots of work still to do. And as always, we'll update you on how we like the couch. You guys have seen all the furniture changes over the last couple of years. I never thought we would be those people that are all the time changing out our furniture, but we are, and that's okay. I'm excited about this piece of furniture. Do you want to see how the side table looks? Yeah, let's get that side table over here. And I won't spill as many drinks. I set my coffee here, set my water here. It's a, a perfect, perfect height with that side table. I really table. wasn't sure how the height difference would be. Ooh. It definitely cramps that corner. Yeah. It really, it might really limit our options on what we can do there. Are you, are you asleep already? I don't know why you're standing. We have this perfectly good couch. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here on the couch. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Does this look nice in this space? I think it looks really great actually. It looks like a living room. It does. And like a normal house. <laughs> which is nice. It is nice. Alright, next up is going to be probably figuring out what to do with the corner. We'll keep you guys updated. Keep those keep those ideas coming. We're really loving all the ideas that you guys have been sending. Keep them coming. Let me know what you guys think about that. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out again this week, guys. We'll see you next time.